All right. Monica Ryda is the polit politics editor for Gaper's Block. She graduated with a degree in journalism from Michigan State in May, and her writing has appeared on onmilwaukee.com, the MSU Review, and New City, among others. Not getting matzo ball soup for lunch from the Jewish deli near her office is a constant struggle. <laughs> well then, how, Monica, how do you do? Hi everyone. Hello. So, I'm the genius who spilled her guts via text message to a guy she has feelings for. This is why I've been more tense than usual, which says something because my name is apparently synonymous with being stressed out all the time. <laughs> I had been on the verge of telling him for some, a while. I usually typed up a text while I was drinking wine and listening to Ingrid Michaelson. Don't drink and listen to Ingrid Michaelson, kids. <laughs> but I wasn't that inebriated, so I deleted it and thought, don't. He's in Michigan, you're in Wisconsin. So I let these feelings build inside of me, but then one day I actually told him by text message. I was in the Whole Foods in Milwaukee after finishing my shift at the film festival. I wasn't going to buy anything at Whole Foods, I was just doing it as therapy because the last time I went to Whole Foods I had a panic attack and it wasn't because of the prices. <laughs> I saved those for pick and save. <laughs> but as I was walking around Whole Foods I felt the sudden inescapable panic and anxiety flood over me and I whipped out my phone and I did what any reasonable person would do at that moment. I told him I missed him and how I felt and that I had known this since June and I had tried to tell him by video chat, but it hadn't worked out for the past two weeks because we're both incredibly busy people. I waited. No response. Shit. I walked to the bar next door because in Milwaukee there are bars and alcohol everywhere. There's alcohol in the corporate offices I work in because our vendors send us alcohol all the time. Because it's Milwaukee. And so I ordered a sangria and then I sank into my armchair praying to be invisible even though no one knew what I did and all I could think of was what the fuck did I just do? I just told one of my closest friends I liked him more than as a friend. He might not ever want to talk to me again because in my experience even hinting to a guy how I feel doesn't end well. 11th grade, I asked a guy I had a crush on to go with me to homecoming and pretty much the entire cafeteria left. I spent the next month eating lunch alone. So he responded, and he eventually told me that it was nice, that it wouldn't work out because I'm in Chicago, which I'm not, I'm in Milwaukee, but I would be good first lady material. So there's that. And this is why I've been stressed out, but we're still talking. Seriously guys, don't tell someone how you feel via text message. 